Alright, so here's another example with uh, finding derivatives of functions uh, at a point that have square roots in them. So uh, here, okay, well first of all, in the last video with example 1, uh, the numbers worked out kind of nicely. You know, we had square root of 9, and that simplified nicely. Um, but here, you know, that won't always be the case, and that's going to happen here, as we'll see soon. So uh, example 2, r of x equals the square root of 3x plus 1. And we want to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, slope of the tangent line, what's that mean? Again, that's just uh, the derivative, right? So find the slope of the tangent line, that means find the derivative. So uh, we're going to go to our definition here, and it's going to be r primed of 2 equals uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of what? Of r of 2 plus h minus r of 2 all divided by h. All right, so now we just have to figure out what's r of 2 plus h, what's r of 2. So let's come up here and do that. Um, r of 2 plus h. Well, here r of x is root 3x plus 1. So r of 2 plus h is going to be the square root of uh, 3 times the quantity 2 plus h and then plus 1. All right. So that's what we have there. So let's go ahead and simplify that. Um, if we distribute the 3, then we're going to have 6 plus 3h, and then plus 1. So really, that's uh, square root of 3h plus 7. OK? So uh, keeps going out of focus here. All right. And then uh, next, we got to figure out what's r of 2. So let's go ahead and do that. r of 2 equals what? Well, r of x is the square root of 3x plus 1. So r of 2 is the square root of 3 times 2 plus 1, which is uh, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So that's square root of 7. Okay. Pretty much it's the same as what's up here, but without the h. All right, so we have these now. So let's go ahead and take these and put them back into here. So this equals the limit as h goes to 0 of root 3h plus 7 and then minus uh, root 7 all divided by h. All right, so what do we do from here? Well, from here, um, you might be kind of tempted to combine these into one square root, but uh, you can't do that. It doesn't work like that. So, um, you know, it would be nice because then we can get rid of the sevens. That'd be nice, but we can't do it like that uh, because, in general, square root of a minus square root of b uh, is not the same thing as the square root of a minus b. All right? If that ever happens, it's just a coincidence, but in general, this is not true. So we can't use this. Um, we can't do that. All right? Well, what do we do? We're actually going to do the same thing we did in the uh, last video. Okay, even though this is square root of 7, and it's not a nice number like 3, um, we're just going to do the same thing we did, which was multiply by the uh, conjugate of the top. So we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the top. So that's going to give us uh, root 3h plus 7, and then plus root 7. All right, so we just change the uh, sign in between them here. Here it's a minus sign, now we're going to change it to a plus sign when we do the conjugate. Alright, and then uh, don't forget our parentheses. Parentheses, parentheses. Okay, so now when we uh, expand, let's go ahead and come down here. This equals the limit as h goes to 0 of what's going on. Foil on the top, so first gives us uh, 3h plus 7 without the square root. We have 3h plus 7. Um, outer and inner are going to cancel again, okay, because it's a plus something minus that same thing. Okay, outer is plus something, inner is minus the same thing, so outer and inner are going to cancel, uh, which is great. And then last is minus root 7 times positive root 7, which means uh, minus 7. Okay? And then on the bottom we still have uh, h times the square root of 3h plus 7, and then plus square root of 7, like that. And again, don't forget these parentheses, they have to be there. Okay, so now this is good because what's happening on top, plus 7, minus 7, uh, those cancel. That is great. Now uh, we have 3h, and then this h out here is just kind of chilling by itself. So this h is going to cancel with this h, and now just the 3 is left up here. So what this really uh, is now is uh, equal to the limits as h goes to 0 of... 3 divided by root 3h 
plus 7, uh, and then plus root 7. Okay, so now we can just do direct substitution. So what's going to happen, uh, we're going to get, if we do direct substitution here, we have 3 times 0, which is just 0, plus 7. So what we really have is uh, 3 over root 7 plus root 7, so that's 2 root 7, all right? And uh, that's an okay answer there. If you want to rationalize the denominator, or if you have to rationalize it for whatever reason, um, then you would do that like this. So 3 over 2 root 7, if we come up here. So you probably know how to rationalize the denominator, but in case you forgot, uh, multiply the top and the bottom by root 7. So then what we end up with is uh, 3 root 7. And then on the bottom, root 7 times root 7 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Right. So uh, this is the answer we got from the limit process, and then uh, that's an okay answer. But uh, if you want to rationalize the denominator, or if you have to, then this is what your answer will be here. So that's example 2. Um, and we see that you know this number isn't really as nice as uh, 1 sixth like we had in example 1, right? So uh, you know the reason for this here is because uh, we had a square root of 7 here, where last time we had a 3. But uh, it didn't change the process, right? We multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. So the numbers were a little bit messier, um, but everything worked out the same. You know, we had this uh, plus 7 minus 7, then we canceled the h's, and then we just uh, simplified from there, and then we had the uh, direct evaluation here, or direct substitution. So let's go ahead and see one more example in the next video.